Behind the charm of cowboy culture, country music, and its oil-driven identity, Texas hides a surprising dark side. This state is undeniably rich in natural resources and energy sectors, often hailed as the land of opportunity. It's no wonder Texas is considered one of the best states to start a business. Many global corporations manage their operations worldwide from Texas, thanks to its business-friendly environment. Giants like Tesla, SpaceX, Starlink, Oracle, Hewlett-Packard, and Chevron have even relocated their operational bases to Texas. The appeal lies in Texas's lack of state income tax for businesses, lower living and operational costs compared to other states, and supportive regulations that foster growth. These factors have propelled Texas's economy, making it the second largest contributor to the U.S. GDP just behind California. However, Texas cannot hide from its glaring economic inequality. Only a small fraction of the population benefits from the prosperity brought by the oil industry and big business, while many remain trapped in poverty and economic instability. Homelessness is increasingly visible in major cities like Austin and Houston, where gentrification has worsened conditions, pushing low-income communities out of their neighborhoods. As a primary gateway for immigrants from Mexico and Central America, Texas also grapples with an immigration crisis. Thousands of immigrants seeking a better life often face harsh living conditions, both in overcrowded shelters and in the uncertainty of their legal status. Without access to secure jobs or housing, many of these individuals find themselves battling poverty, further complicating the state's social challenges. This phenomenon paints a picture of Texas as a state of stark contrasts. On one side, a land of opportunity and pride. On the other, a place where countless individuals still struggle just to survive. Can Texas rise to meet these challenges? This is the dark side of Texas. Poverty and economic inequality. As previously discussed, Texas may have a thriving economy, but its wealth is far from evenly distributed. Economic inequality has become a glaring issue, with the gap between the wealthy, middle class, and lower income groups growing significantly. Since the 1990s, the upper class in Texas has seen their income soar, while middle class wages have stagnated and lower income earnings have dropped by 10% the disparity becomes even more evident when looking at average annual incomes. The wealthiest Texans earn an average of $255,800 a year, compared to $53,200 for the middle class and just $17,900 for lower income groups. These figures starkly highlight a widening economic divide that shows no signs of slowing down. A key driver of this inequality lies in the types of jobs available. The wealthiest individuals in Texas are often business owners or investors, while middle-class Texans typically hold public or private sector jobs. Unfortunately, many lower-income residents are stuck in low-paying, unstable positions. Even members of the middle class often find themselves categorized as the working poor, struggling to make ends meet despite holding steady employment. One major contributor to this problem is the nature of job creation in Texas. While state leaders frequently tout Texas's impressive job growth, many of these new roles are low-wage positions with little to no long-term stability. As a result, 
even as more Texans find work. The quality of these jobs leaves many unable to escape financial hardship. This widening economic divide raises critical concerns about the long-term viability of Texas's economic model. Without addressing these systemic issues, the state risks further entrenching poverty among its lower and middle-income residents, while the wealthiest continue to prosper. Health Crisis Economic inequality in Texas has fueled a host of pressing problems, with healthcare emerging as one of the most alarming. Rural areas have been hit particularly hard. From 2013 to 2017, 20 rural hospitals, including those in Crockett and Trinity, closed their doors, leaving many residents without access to essential medical care. This is especially devastating for communities already struggling with incomes below the national average. Despite the urgency, both Congress and the Texas Legislature have largely ignored the critical shortage of healthcare facilities in these regions. Making matters worse, Texas has the highest percentage of uninsured residents in the nation. As of 2022, 17% of the state's population, around 4.9 million people, lacked health insurance. While this is a slight improvement from 2021's 18% uninsured rate, due in part to pandemic-related government assistance, it remains a troubling statistic. Working-age adults make up 60% of the uninsured population, highlighting how deeply this crisis impacts the state's labor force. Force. This lack of coverage not only restricts access to health care, but also limits economic productivity, as untreated health issues can prevent individuals from working effectively. Another glaring problem is the maternal health crisis in Texas. Complications during pregnancy and childbirth have risen sharply in recent years. In 2019, 118 maternal deaths were recorded, leaving over 200 children without their mothers. Alarmingly, the rate of pregnancy and childbirth-related complications skyrocketed from 58.2% in 2018 to 72.7% .7 per 10,000 pregnancies by 2020. These numbers paint a grim picture of a healthcare system struggling to support its most vulnerable residents. This troubling state of affairs reinforces Texas's reputation as a place rife with challenges, a theme often echoed in popular culture. Terms like Texas territory have become synonymous with lawlessness and hardship, reflecting the real struggles the state faces with health care, gun violence, and racial inequality. Despite these significant issues, there is hope that with proper attention and reform, Texas can overcome these obstacles, paving the way for its residents to live healthier, safer lives. The Complex Situation of Immigrants in Texas Immigration in Texas is a deeply complex issue, primarily due to the state's direct border with Mexico, making it a major gateway for immigrants entering the United States. Texas hosts one of the largest immigrant populations in the country, encompassing undocumented individuals, asylum seekers, and those without proper documentation. As a result, illegal immigration has become a key focus for both state and federal governments. Every day, hundreds of immigrants attempt to cross the border from Mexico into Texas, creating immense challenges for border control efforts. The facilities used to detain undocumented immigrants are often overcrowded and ill-equipped to handle the sheer volume of people entering the state without proper authorization. In response to these challenges, Texas Governor Greg Abbott introduced SB4, a controversial law that has ignited significant debate and public outcry. The law permits law enforcement officers to detain individuals they suspect may be undocumented immigrants, raising serious concerns about racial profiling and wrongful detentions. Courts have also been granted the power to deport individuals without requiring a criminal offense. 
Additionally, SB 4 imposes harsh penalties on undocumented immigrants, including potential prison sentences of up to 20 years and fines as high as $2,000. Understandably, SB 4 has created a climate of fear among immigrant communities. The threat of wrongful arrests, severe punishments, and forced deportations looms large for many. While the law's goal is to address illegal immigration, its heavy-handed approach raises critical questions. If not measures like SB 4, what policies could effectively tackle Texas's immigration challenges? The debate over immigration in Texas remains as contentious as ever. Balancing the need for secure borders with humane and fair treatment of immigrants continues to pose a significant challenge for the state, as Texas navigates its responsibilities, finding a sustainable and compassionate solution remains a critical priority. The criminal justice system in Texas Illegal immigration is a prominent issue in Texas, driven by its proximity to the Mexican border, making it a key entry point for undocumented individuals seeking to enter the United States. The state's criminal justice system plays a pivotal role in managing the influx of immigration-related cases, overseeing detentions, hearings, and deportations for those who cross the border unlawfully. Texas has long been synonymous with imagery of cowboys, sheriffs, and a tough but fair approach to law enforcement. However, the reality within the state's justice system is far more troubling. Texas holds the dubious distinction of having the highest incarceration rate in the world among democratic nations, imprisoning 731 people per 100,000 residents. This staggering figure illustrates how easily individuals can end up behind bars in Texas. Every year, approximately 505,000 individuals are arrested and detained, marking a dramatic surge in incarceration over the past four decades. Delving deeper, the system's flaws become even more apparent. A shocking 76% of those detained in Texas jails have not been convicted of a crime. They are awaiting trial, often for prolonged periods. Slow court processes exacerbate this issue, with Texas conducting 20% fewer trials compared to other states. This inefficiency contributes to exoneration rates being 12% lower than the national average, meaning fewer innocent individuals are cleared of charges. Racial disparities are another glaring problem in Texas's justice system. Black Texans are incarcerated at a rate 3.3 times higher than white Texans, reflecting systemic racial inequities. Furthermore, six out of seven law enforcement agencies in the state report that black and Latino individuals are searched more frequently than white individuals, despite data showing that the likelihood of carrying drugs or weapons is the same across racial groups. These unsettling realities reveal a justice system fraught with systemic issues that disproportionately target minority communities and detain countless individuals without due process. Texas's criminal justice challenges not only reflect deep-rooted flaws, but also perpetuate racial injustices, raising urgent questions about fairness and equality in law enforcement.